Hello, uh, welcome to another piano lesson with Richard Yang. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about Homura from Demon Slayer, uh, arranged by Animans. Uh, so the link to my performance is uh, in the video description below, along with the uh, sheet music store link, uh, so you can get the sheet music from Animans uh, store. Okay, so Homura, so this is a, a fairly, a, one of the slower uh, pieces from Animans. Uh, I haven't played too many of them, uh, like uh, uh, one liters, no, five, how many centimeters per second uh, and Amazing Grace. Like these are the, the only ones and this one is a, a, another one. So I don't play a lot of slow pieces, uh, but this is actually pretty beautiful. And I listened to the uh, uh, to the, uh, the the singing, the song version of it. It actually sounds very, very good. Uh, so we'll, we'll try that. And now before I even begin, uh, I would like to t tell you that the counting in this one, if you can read the music, well, at least on how to count, uh, it's not it's not bad, and it feels a little bit like uh, Departures from Guilty Crown, actually. Um, so the counting, it, it you can count it exactly. There is no ambiguity uh, there, uh, but for some, it may be new. So bottom line, you need to learn how to uh, read the music uh, or listen to the recording over and over and over again until you believe it, okay? So in the beginning. Uh, so remember, so the tempo here is 76. Uh, what I do is I don't, I don't actually count, I, I don't count in uh, quarter notes, I count, I count in uh, an eighth notes actually. So I would, I would go one, two, That's how, uh, how I count in my mind because uh, counting in uh, quarter notes, uh, it's, uh, it feels different. I, I count in, uh, uh, eighth, eighth notes, it, it works better for me, but it might be different for you, okay? So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And it is very unfortunate that I cannot reach this, not even close. So, uh, I have to do some uh, alternative, right? So, I, I, I have the alternate hands. And here, very important, you have to change your pedal here. So a lot of times uh, you may or may not lose your bottom D. So this uh, this would require you to really pr you know practice this kind of a pedal change. Right. So remember to count fully. should be uh, uh, very very easy the uh, only uh, when I learned this I, I was a little surprised by the very last measure here as uh, counting wise right so you just need to get get used to that right so if you can feel it it might you might get a little confused at, at, at first but it, once you're uh, once you you know practice a few times it should the, the, the Confusion should go away. Now, this part, uh, so the, first of all, you see the bars on top, that means you wanna hold the notes uh, for the full length of the eighth notes, right? But here is your melody. Right, so, I take the pedal off completely on, on E, by the way. Okay, well, let me play this slowly. From Animan's recording, he actually uh, lived off the uh, on the E, not not uh, uh, to make it detached. Um, you can do that, but I just wanted to make the rest of the notes sound more similar. All right, so yeah, you recall, it's a it's a stylistic thing, right? Not not too important. Right. So here, 
this is what I'm talking about. This makes this feel not like a 4-4 because uh, it just doesn't... Um, it's a little um, different than regular 4-4s. Uh, <laughs> It's a fits into an eighth note, so make them even. Don't do that. Right, don't do that. Make them even. Okay. So hopefully this th th it makes some sense, right? The counting wise, it, it may really throw you off. The notes are very simple. It's just that uh, I personally, I, I, this is the first time I play something with this kind of a rhythm. I, no, it's not really rhythmic, but anyway, this kind of uh, arrangement, right? <laughs> To this right so hopefully it makes some sense to you right let me do that one more time and for when you play this right you can uh usually because of my hand size i usually just do one five when i do octaves but in this case because the the d sharp is right beside it it makes sense to use one four in this case right uh but i don't do uh one four on the f sharp this is a little unnatural for me, so I just do uh, uh, one five uh, uh, else, uh, elsewhere. to make sure that the, um, you, you first of all to count it correctly uh, is one thing and then you have to convince yourself that it, it is correct so once you believe it um, you can make this more convincing second B a little pause here before he starts again and so I did that too because you want to make the next and you want to make section E uh, like a like a new thing it's now uh, pianissimo so start start new Thing 
that may be of a note is this. Right here, you want to do pretty fast, right? From this to here. One more time. So follow my fingering. Uh, if you watch my fingering carefully, you just note that they they change. So these. So what you are seeing is the actual fingering that I use. Uh, d uh, during the, the performance because uh, if you only played this very slowly without the context of other things I, I would have used other fingerings but I think what I use makes the most sense right Section F, so so the first run, it, it, I, I would arguably, this should be the most difficult part of the piece. After you are done this run, everything else is much, much easier, even the second run, okay? So uh, note the fingering. So the way I do it, right, I'm gonna do that very, very slowly first. One, How I, no, I, I don't say one, two, three, four, five, but uh, I that's how I uh, learn learn this, right? Right, you do that in groups of five. Right, so. Again, this is kind of like the uh, Demon Slayer. No, this is Demon Slayer. No, this is a lot like uh, Naruto, the Shiloh that I uh, that I uh, that I released earlier. It's a very very strange scale because the top switch over it, it, the top scale ends at the, with a finger number two at the top. Very very strange. But uh, the good thing is, once you are very familiar, you can play that. <laughs> this like you know even brokenly uh you know w once you know the notes really well the re uh, the rhythm part will be it will be, it's almost like automatic right you just get it right once you get bring it up to speed but when you practice this is uh what how you do it right so <laughs> to teach you the way that I think about this so that it would make some more sense to you. Uh, first of all, this overall plays like a D scale, right? Now, so the, it's very convenient that this set, the changeover, you start with the finger number, uh, finger number one. So the way I think about it is that I do this and going down, remember, finger number two first, finger number two, Four, two, right? So just remember, remember that. Two, four, two, right? Again, two, four, two. And also on the last going down, Uh, the, 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 what I'm gonna say is that for the ne for the next uh, set. So this set, hopefully, uh, you can do this now. Right. So this one goes like this. Right. Remember, 
chord, when you go up, because there's a change over on the E, so this is your down B. slightly different so I'm doing that slowly again right so you'll know the scale is the same but the, 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 the melody is slightly different but the way you think is the same So when you play fa faster, it, that hopefully that can come naturally. If not, just uh, listen to it, uh, listen to it, and listen for it. And so, oh, oh, okay. So the trick I'm talking about is when you go up. So so far so good. Coming down, two, four, two. Now remember this switch over. Uh, I don't know if this is going to make any sense. Just remember to bring your hand slightly uh, uh, lower. Uh, otherwise, you may miss this uh, two notes. Uh, it's just the, in the way you think. I don't know how to describe this better. When you play this skill like fast enough, you uh, hopefully you will, you can come to the same conclusion. Like you have to do do some care when you play this uh, last few notes. So okay. Just make sure you can capture all those notes in the uh, in the span of how many eighth notes, right? <laughs> So, section G, right? Uh, when you have uh, this, kind of, uh, when you have right hand like this, uh, right hand notes like this, it's, it might be a little difficult to count that, the, you know, the one and a half, the, the, the dotted eighth. Uh, it's, it might be a little hard to count that. So I don't do that. I actually use my left hand to count, right? Because you have. section also hopefully uh, you got you got this so you know the first eighth notes use this as your guide to where the second eighth note comes in then then you would know this uh, when to get this in right <laughs> Second hardest part. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you why. Because it just uh, it's very strange. I don't know why. When I look at this particular measure, it just looks so strange to me. I I cannot explain. So I, I'll play this very slowly. I was a 
fishing for notes. Uh, <laughs> That's it. I, uh, to me, this is the second most difficult part of the piece other than the scale run before on the page before. A very strange place to uh, feel the difficulty, but it's really, it, this confused me for, for a long time. So. And even the right hand, so as you can see, the counting, it makes it feel like this is not 4-4, four, four. it's some other time signature of uh, right so it's very strange uh, so hopefully it's not too bad for you of the piece uh, so three hand technique I, I really don't know why people call it three hand technique because I really only have two hands and I'm, I'm just playing whatever it takes to uh, capture the music in front of me so do that slowly something sounds weird all right sorry one more time
so overall, I think this piece is uh, uh, fairly easy. I would, I would give it a. If it's not for those two skill runs, I would give it a, a three. But because of those skill runs, I would give it a four out of ten. Okay. So that's uh, that's. Uh, hopefully, you liked it. Uh, please remember to uh, comment, like, and subscribe. All all that uh, good stuff. Thank you. Until next time. Goodbye.